I was very shocked because I'm sure a lot of people applied for this position because it was broadcasted to a lot of schools. I was really happy that I got it. When I got the news, I was really happy. I was kind of excited to work in a new environment, but I kind of also thought it'd be kind of like serious because it was like a new job and everything. I was really excited because it's my first internship. I thought since it was a government job that everyone would be like really strict or, or whatnot. And like everything was confidential. Like you couldn't say a word about what you're doing to other people or you'd be arrested. When I actually like spent a bit more time here, it was uh, it was definitely more chill than I expected. I kind of expected the government infrastructure and like their websites and their buildings to be kind of like dated, but this building is actually amazing and it just looks absolutely fantastic. And I appreciate like all the, the nice atmosphere that it gives. I thought it would be like all cubicles, like an old sort of building. So it was pretty surprising. Like the building impressed me. I like the vault, the architecture, and everything. Like uh, even if my mom working here like had some impact, it's still uh, a big opportunity for me because like I'm able to get the working experience really early and also uh, I am interested in working in this type of work with coding and stuff. After like being here and experiencing this internship, it's more of like a learning experience. I got to learn more about like the county in our first meeting with Tim and Sybil. They went over how the Alameda County structure and how it all works because I feel like it's something that, I don't know, every county resident should have some information about. There was also like a quiz and then we got like prizes and stuff and it was kind of fun. It was really interesting to me to see how all of the county works together. My favorite one would probably be the uh, the data center to go into that server room and just know that that's where a lot of the data is stored for the county government. All the tours and like the lectures, I guess they've shown me that there's like a more of a process. Of developing an application, like the whole project life cycle. It was nice to hear from a project manager what that role is like, what exactly they do. And it was nice to know all the details in and I think what was most fun about that was we started developing our own project and we just played the role of the users and the project managers and all that. Besides all the information I was learning and it's constant education, which I love, I got a chance to go in the government cars and also visit government sites such as the Santa Rita Jail. And I also found out something that was fun, that government license plates only have numbers. And unlike our license plates that have numbers and letters, and I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm working on the CFL project or case file locator. And so the goal is to allow the users at SSA to find the physical location of a case. It's like a modernization effort from like the old application shelf. So we're migrating data from the mainframe to a SQL server, and then we're displaying the data in a web page using MVC. I think one of my favorite parts of it is to know that the project that I'm working on will actually be used soon by users. People can get some value from it. Uh, my project is about uh, migrating data. Uh, basically, we have one old service called like AxoSoft on time. Basically, because it's a kind of obsolete, the team has been wanting to move into uh, another service called Jira by Atlassian. So what we need to do is basically migrate the issues. So like the defects, the features, we have to like use the, the Axosoft API, scavenge all of the different issues, and then just kind of like move them over to Jira. Like most of the code is written and we're just kind of like nitpick and get every like single last like field, make sure everything runs smoothly. I'm building like, uh, it's called an ODM website and it manages reports. So I'm building it using um, the tech stack of AngularJS.NET 6 web API and a MySQL database. So I'm basically doing like the full stack application. It's good because I've been learning like both sides and how to like manage a database as well. The client for now is users in the county who can log on to the portal and manage their reports and they'll be able to upload files as well. My project for this internship is a UI that would configure recipients for different electronic documents. It's able to load the recipients for certain documents and from there you can update them and then delete them as you need. And you can also uh, add them and update them in bulk with using a CSV file. Because I've uh, created the UI part using HTML and Bootstrap and the functionality using uh, Ajax calls that would uh, call uh, functions that would uh, change stuff on the database using SQL uh, commands. My managers are <laughs> might be the ones that are using it. So very possible as they're on the admin side. It definitely is very motivating to actually have a project that would be used for more than just uh, my own experience. It gives me some more like 
drive to actually finish it and problem solve to make sure it works and make it look presentable. So I'm working on the Oz API for the CRIM system regarding criminal records and the data in them. Basically, I'm working on the unit tests to see if the API is going to fail or succeed. I'm writing tests for the code. The project uh, was basically uh, focused on C-sharp. I was kind of scared at that at first, but like as my mentor kind of guided me through it and I was like, it's not that bad. And I've been like learning more and more about it. And I've been like following tutorials and stuff to get through it. I've been working with the CRIMS team and my project focuses on like the pre-trial where like we find out information about the inmate and also has to do with the bail process. I'm supposed to create an API which takes a PDF file which kind of rates the severity of like a bad person a certain inmate is. It takes that PDF file which will be provided by a third party vendor and the API will store that information from the PDF into another database from our CRIMS app. I've worked on a few projects, but the biggest one and probably the most important one so far is projects for the SCADA network, which I've told is like controls a bunch of flood valves, which is pretty important. My part in it is I've had to configure the firewall and the two switches and allow devices from one of the switches to communicate with another device on the other switch. And it has to go through the firewall, and so I have to set up certain rules that allow that. The next one is going to be security and like cybersecurity. I'm really glad that I get the opportunity to experience that. And I love being on the ISG team because I get a chance to move around different teams. This is the optimum setup. I'm very thankful that there's another person where I can collaborate with and you can bounce back ideas with and you don't have to just rely on your mentor to solve all your problems. Going from the learning side of it to actually applying it, that was my ultimate favorite part because I felt like what I was learning was actually being utilized. I liked the project management class that we took. I liked uh, coming up with our own project, talking with the other interns, and then coming up with some nice ideas, gathering uh, requirements. That whole process was fun. I guess one of the, my like favorite parts about this internship, probably the independence, like you know, making my own money, buying my own food, interacting with people who like my parents don't like really have a say on. Being able to like commute to like a workplace is kind of like new to me, but I I, I enjoy that. Being able to uh, learn by myself, like. It with the researching and use my resources instead of uh, learning from a, uh, a website that would tell me exactly what to do. I think my favorite part is like the many new people that I got to meet through this opportunity. And it was nice to make new friends as well as the mentors. They were very like nice to me and helpful. Uh, I like going out with um, my friends to get like food and stuff. It was nice. I really like that the location is in downtown Oakland, which is like near a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, I've been aiming to just every week go out get something to eat you know just experience <laughs> gotta spend that money somehow i'm just starting college and i'm not too sure what i want to do after college looking around all these teams learning everything is helping me decide what i want to do in the future the whole experience of working here working in a professional environment how to work in a team and how to work with uh, other employees and stuff being able to uh, sit in on some of the meetings i've seen the importance of working as a team uh, it's definitely opened my eyes now that i know what it's like to work in it i am going to like do something in tech i think my biggest takeaway from this whole experience is the ability to be flexible because I'm working with a bunch of different teams. Adapting to like work with new people was one of my biggest takeaways. The prestige of having worked an internship is like I heard for college admissions that would be pretty good. The professionalism of being in this job, I was really able to connect with the mentors and the other interns and this just makes me feel like I be able to collaborate even better for my future career after my four years of college. It's not only just like work but you're also being able to like network with like other interns in the team so that's what I enjoyed the most. Like, one of the more fun items that I've done in this internship was playing ping pong in the break room. That's been a fun experience. Getting your paycheck, that's really fun. So now that I have money, you can actually go out and buy things by yourself. Uh, there's this rapper that this one guy likes and he's he keeps talking about him and he keeps drawing him. And it's just kind of funny because he's not that good. My mentor, on the very first day he met me and Jocelyn, 
He treated us out for lunch and he bought for us, which was really nice. I really want to go back because it, it was one of the best chicken sandwiches I've had in my life. I really love working here.